All right, guys, we're here at the boat ramp. We're gonna be fishing a couple swim baits today. I just got this new Storm Arashi swim bait, and then I'm gonna be fishing that Mike Buka's baby bull shad. I don't remember which color this is, but I'll make sure to link it below. All right, guys, so the strategy for today is gonna be to throw that uh, Mike Buka's baby bull shad first, and if we end up catching anything on that, then I'm gonna throw the Storm Arashi that we have. Um, I saw a video with Weston Smith and with Tactical Bassin saying that the color I have is a really, really good color. So we're going to toss it around and see if we can't get anything. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to be starting out with this little baby bull shad. Throwing it on my favorite rod that I always throw. See if we can't get anything. I've never thrown this before, so it's going to be a first time for both of these baits. actually landed something on a treble hook bait before so this will be a first if I get something but we're gonna paddle back because this is a good spot try to get into that cove oh yeah I got one I got one oh that feels good oh yeah it feels good uh, I don't know if it is but it felt good you just gonna let me ski you in, dude? He's just like, yeah, I know I've been caught. Oh, what the heck? We got a gar? I've never caught a gar before. What do I even do with this? Oh, my little brother's trying to fucking call me. I'm just gonna bring this in. Oh, no, don't do anything crazy, dude. Stay up there, stay up there. Oh my gosh. What is it? I have a missed call from Josh. Sorry, Josh. I'm currently trying to fight this thing at the same time, buddy. I guess, I guess we're doing a multi-species day today. Come on. Just chill for a sec, okay? I'm not trying to get hooked. All right, and I'm also not trying to get bit. I really didn't want to have to land this guy, but I also don't want to get bit by an alligator. That's what I was talking about, guys. I'm at the Toothy Critter Lake. I did not want to catch this. I'll tell you that right now. I feel bad. Okay, come on. All right, come on. Just, just, yes. All right, good job, dude. You did really good. All right, now let's try to, hopefully he's not, I've never caught a gar. I have no, you know what, I have these. Let's see if I can pick them up. These, somehow. There we go. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. You guys, that is not what I was trying to catch. Oh my goodness. As promised, I said if I catch something on this, I'm going to switch over to that Storm Rashi swim bait. I've never fished a glide bait before, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I mean, this thing is just massive. It's way bigger than that bluegill one that I was throwing the other day. This is a seven inch. This is just, just under four. So this is almost twice the size. Hopefully we can uh, get a big to just come out and just destroy this thing. All right, guys, it's gonna be first cast with this thing. Oh my goodness, this thing's huge. Feels like I'm reeling in a fish. Quick. I'm throwing this on a seven foot six. It's actually my jig rod. Um, I don't have a swim bait rod yet, but I'm planning on getting one pretty soon. If, uh, if I can catch some bigs. You know what guys, if you don't, if you don't have confidence in something, the only way to build confidence in it is to just sit there and throw it. I really don't want to keep throwing this thing. But I am because it's the only way that you build confidence. This is pretty shallow. 
I think it's probably about four or five feet back here. So I want to let it sink, but not too much. This thing is really cool, I'll tell you that. I know nothing about glide baits, but it looks really cool. Alright, let's see here. Wow, that was coming that was coming in quick, guys. I thought we almost lost eyeball. Alright guys, it, right now it's 6.30. I think we'll fish this until about 7 o'clock. And if we don't get anything by 7, uh, we may stop because this thing is huge. We are going to have to have a huge, huge bass come and grab this thing. So we may fish it a little bit more open water because I think right now a lot of the ones up on the, the shore, the bank line, are the males. Every one that I've caught so far has been a male off the bank. Alright guys, I think we actually are going straight out of alligator. Uh, he just, he's moving. I don't know if you guys can see him. Let me see, I'll point this hand. Let's see, I'll try to point right there. Hopefully. So this one looks small. I may try to get up and do a little National Geographic for you. Don't do this at home. I think I have to put a disclaimer out there. So if you guys have alligators at home, please don't mess with them. Call somebody. That's professional at alligatoring. That alligator just went under. I don't know if you guys saw that. It looks like he kind of went off in a hurry. He's probably scared, like, what the heck is coming at me? Yeah, he better be scared. Boy, I'm not gonna mess with him. All right, guys, we found our little stump. I'm gonna just glide this thing right by it real slow. See if we can't get us a big old fish. Just sitting on the stump. All right, let's try again. Oh man. I think I'm gonna let it sit actually for just a second. And I'm gonna try to straighten out the kayak. The wind is picking up, so sorry if the audio is real bad, especially right there. Let me say it again. Sorry if the audio is real bad, guys really windy the sun is starting to go down but it's just above that tree line so if we uh if we do get something i may just come up and destroy it looking for a big meal and uh you never know we could catch a pb this is definitely the bait to catch a pb right now i'd say my pb is about four pounds and it was on a six inch cinco so we're only fishing an inch bigger bait but let me tell you what, it feels like way bigger than that. All right guys, it's almost seven. So I'm gonna put this up for now and uh, we'll probably break it out again real quick when we get over to the spot. Um, we're gonna fish it for another five minutes. Go All right guys, so we're gonna be fishing these banks right here. Um, with this big glide bait just for about five minutes and then uh, we're gonna switch over to that baby bull shad again because I did like catching something on it I want to continue that but I really want to just kind of hopefully build my confidence with this glide bait just a little bit so we'll be fishing that for another five ten minutes and then we're gonna switch over to that baby bull shad Oh yeah, we got something. Oh yeah, guys. Oh my gosh. Yes, guys, we have something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Oh yeah, this thing is tiny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's get this boat flipped. Yes, guys. Oh yes. I can't believe we got something. And he's barely hooked. I guarantee this thing's gonna fall out right here. Look at this. Look at that. Out. Oh my gosh, dude, don't go back home. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 chill, 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 chill. Oh, yes, guys, I can't believe we did it. Oh, my gosh. Guys, we did it. All right, we got to get a picture of this guy. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited right now. You don't even know how excited I am. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> guys, my heart is pounding. I'm so excited. I don't even care. We're going into this hydrilla. 
we got all kinds of stuff flying everywhere with the baby bull shad back here going crazy trying to hook me all right we're gonna grab this dude guys look at that this thing is not very big at all guys Let's see if i can get a better grip on him i'm gonna show you right next to this i mean he's definitely bigger but that's not a huge fish you see that he's i mean this thing's maybe twice the size we'll get him on that hog trough so we can get like a real measurement i don't have a scale yet but this is about the best we can do for right now which oh man i'm so excited all right get this guy's mouth closed I'm trying to angle my gopro down just a little bit so you guys can see all right he's trying to bite this let's close that mouth and uh and just kind of get this tail mouth closed with the tail you don't want to put it down we're looking almost we got 14 and three quarters guys so this thing is literally only seven inches bigger than this glide bait that we just caught him on so you guys can see that right there i mean he's bigger but not by much so all right dude thanks for the bite oh he was ready to go he just jumped right out of my hands so that was awesome guys that seriously built some confidence i'm really really excited all right guys, I am super, super excited right now. I still got the hog trough in my flap and everything. We just put that fish back in. I am so, so, so excited. I cannot believe we caught something on this bait. I just got this in the mail today. We came out here and we caught a fish on it. First time fishing this baby bull shad as well. Also got a fish on it. Uh, so we got multi-species day, that's for sure. <laughs> we got that bass on the Storm Arashi in that color that Tactical Bassin and Weston Smith both uh, told me that I should be using, and that thing worked. I'll tell you what, and that was a fun fight. That, that fish was super, super aggressive. Uh, just nailed it, and I, I didn't even know if I was stuck on a tree or if I actually caught a fish or what. But that thing nailed it. I was so, so... We also caught that gar on the baby bull shad. Uh, we're going to keep throwing that baby bull shad in and see maybe if we can get a bass if not we're going to just have a multi-species day and be super excited. that's two baits now that i've knocked off my list of baits that i've been wanting to catch fish on so both in one day which is awesome the bass forecast for today is uh, i think like a four and a half so that doesn't mean that you guys can't catch fish when it isn't like an epic day or whatever it says so just go out and try whenever you whenever you have time just go out and fish um that was super, super exciting. Now, you guys can probably tell I'm super, super excited right now. My heart is just in here pounding. I cannot believe I actually caught something on this thing. So anyways, we're gonna get back to fishing. I just wanted to kind of stop and just show you guys how excited I am about both of these baits. All right, guys, one more thing. Um, I am in no way, shape or form affiliated with Lose by on any means. I bought these by myself at Walmart. You guys are kayak fishing. I seriously think these are the best pliers you can get for the price it was 25 bucks and it came with a little sheath for these things to sit in i don't use it just because it's, i just don't think it's necessary um but it does clip onto your kayak like right here so like if you accidentally oh crap drop my pliers you can just pull them right out and uh they're still there so you don't lose any that are real nice i used to fish with like, these really nice gerber ones and they scared me every time I was trying to take a hook out of the fish because I thought it was going to fall in. Uh, so these are super nice. I like that they're spring loaded too. That really helps when you're messing with these fish. I just thought I would share with you guys some of the gear that I use on my kayak, but there you go. All right, we're just going to lightly paddle over here. See if we can catch something past this little point this is the point right here that we were just fishing at throwing stuff at so we're gonna throw past this little point and see if we can get something Ooh. I don't know if I have something if it's grass that's yeah, definitely not a fish all right guys nice Throw it up past that point up there, or right at that point. Just letting it sit, and then bringing this line pretty close to the water. I mean, it's maybe a foot off the water. 
so it, it can kind of get down a little bit more. I'm fishing it on 12 pound fluorocarbon and uh, on this St. Croix Bass X rod, seven foot one, fast. And uh, the Shimano Corrado DC reel. I think this is Guggen. And uh, I got Guggen Squad 12 pound fluorocarbon on here. So I guarantee you that nobody out here is fishing those glide baits. You know, if you, you throw a green pumpkin Cinco at one of these fish, it's, it may eat it. I mean, you may catch more fish on a green pumpkin Cinco on your lake or your pond. Um, oh, got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. What is this? Man. But anyways. Oh, it's a bowfin. Man, alive. I'm getting all the toothy critters today. Oh. Go down just a little bit. One, two, three. Oh. Whoa. Okay, there he goes. That's the fight that normally comes from bowfin. Oh. Tracked an alligator. Oh, come on, dude. Oh. 